Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to show you how to use a very simple encryption tool that can be used to encrypt your files and keep them safe. So let's get started. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you how you can get the software. It's pretty simple. Um, you can get it off the Veracrypt website itself. It's a free download. It's small. It's not like a lot of time, a few seconds at max, and then you can use it. So I've already downloaded the software, so it's basically here. It's a light one, so it's not going to take a lot of your resources. Double click and it's, it's already launched. Alright, so to start off, you have to use the software, you have to create a container. So a container is basically uh, something like um, a box where you're going to keep all of that data and you're going to lock it in there. So to start off, you have to first create a volume. So here you have a free, a few different um, options. You can create encrypted file container like what I was talking about just now or you can encrypt a non-partition or a drive basically it's like an external hard drive or USB or you can encrypt the entire partition or your entire system so basically your entire hard drive is going to be encrypted so for this you're just going to uh, use the standard way and create an encrypted file container so you click next and then you have standard volume and you have the verified hidden volume so basically the hidden volume hides your volume inside a volume so basically if it's hidden you know if you're forced to give out your password or whatnot to open it it's still going to be hidden in that partition so you're not going to be able to find it so here we're just going to go with the normal one so here you're going to have to select a file so basically you don't really have a file you're going to create one so you can go click select file i'm going to create mine in my desktop itself so hit desktop and we're going to name the file, we're going to name it um, as hidden. Alright, okay. So we're going to hit save. And click next. And then we're going to have a few different ways, a few different encryptions you can choose from. Um, these major ones are used by different companies and different um, um, FBI, CIA organizations. So here you have, we use the standard AES, which is actually used by um, CIA in the United States so you just go click next all right so here it shows how much space you have on your current hard drive and you can locate how much you want so I'm just gonna give it maybe I uh, know a gig so yeah one GB and you click next all right here is where you're gonna have to put a password this password is gonna be used to actually basically unlock that file which you're gonna lock up right now so I'm just going to go with the basic one, two, three, one, for example. Alright. So you just hit next. So it's going to tell you to choose short passwords and a long one to keep it safe. But you know, for the sake of this video, we're just going to do simple one. Alright. So this is the interesting part. Here you can actually choose how you want your files to be encrypted. Um, via FAT or NTFS. I want to go with NTFS because you can add more stuff in. And default. Alright, here is what you call the random collect of all mouse movements. So the more you move a mouse, the more random the pool of keys is going to come up with and characters. So you can basically um, have a stronger encryption. So you're going to move the mouse around and you want to look at a green. And you should be there. And there we go. So that's enough for now. We're just going to format the flat part. So it's going to take some time. So there we go. The bigger the size of your container, the more it's going to long it's going to take. All right, so just wait, and it's going to ask you if you're going to make change. Hit yes. And there you go. It was successfully created. All right, so that's cool. And then you can choose to create another one, or you can basically just choose to um, go there. So I'm done, so you can hit exit. All right, now you can, as you can see, our hidden file is here. We're gonna try to open it. It's gonna say, you know, not found. You're not gonna be able to open because of the way it's encrypted, you know, AES. So to view this file, you're actually gonna need Veracrypt also, you know. So basically, you're gonna have to hit. Um, a drive or whatnot, you're going to have to select the file, you know. So we hit desktop and there's a hidden partition, our yeah, well, hidden file. So we open and then you have to mount the file. So it's basically exactly how you mount your hard drive to your system. 
So here we're going to put in the password. So that's one, two, three. And we use it. Okay. So it will take around a few seconds to mount the drive. Once it's mounted, you can actually open a new what's inside. And there we go. It's mounted. So now we can basically open and we can see what's in the folder. So I just want to, you know, just copy a file. Maybe, all right, this is actually an assignment of mine. I'm going to copy it into this. All right, so now it's there. And let's see. I'm going to close this. And we're going to unmount, demount, uh, dismount the file. And there we go. So right now I have actually have my uh, assignment file hidden in here. And I know what's going to be able to take it. The only way you're going to access this is the same way again. You're going to choose a drive letter. You're going to have to mount this. So if you put a fake password, okay, for instance, you know, I put one, two, three, we put property in ABC, and then you hit OK. It'll, um, after some time, it'll say it won't work. It basically, just say wrong password. You know. it'll, just, it'll just, you know, keep on moving for a very long time. So for the sake of this video, I'll just fast forward it. And uh, you have it saying operation fail with one of the following incorrect passwords, pin number, whatnot. All right, so we're putting the correct password this time, and it should be relatively fast. And there you've mounted it, and you're going to be able to open it and see the file there. All right, so that's basically much for this software. You can create multiple files like this, and you can mount them and you can use them as much as you want. You can move them around, you can create an external one. So it's basically up to you what you want to do with the software. Um, it's, you know, if you're having some really important documents you want to hide or keep safe, um, you can definitely use the software. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and this tutorial helped you. And if you have any further questions, you may ask in the comment section below. Thank you again. See you next time.